Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix the Snapchat map if it's not working correctly. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. I have Snapchat open here. I can tap on the little map icon at the bottom left here, and it'll bring up a map, and this will bring up other people that I'm connected to on Snapchat, and it'll show me their location. So it'll show me their locations if they've only shared it with Snapchat. So some people choose not to share that, and you should be able to see um, everybody's location here. However, you can't see my location, and to enable that and make sure that's working correctly, I can tap the little gear icon at the top right, and then it says enable location. Uh, make sure that you enable location settings in your settings app, and I can just tap the go to settings here. And then you can see at the top location says never. I can do that and say just while using app and then maybe turn off precise location. So then if I go back to Snapchat here and then and then go to the map here, you can see um, it'll show me in Denver as my approximate location. And then I can zoom out and see everyone else as well in addition to me. So that's one thing to do to make sure that you fix your Snapchat map. If it's still not working very well or or just doesn't seem to be working, what I would recommend doing is getting out of here and going into Google Chrome and just typing in speed test. So if you run a speed, if you just type in speed test and then say run speed test, what this will do is it'll just make sure that you have a fast enough internet connection to be able to handle and load the map because it, it does take quite a bit of data to load everybody's location and the map and everything. So do this, make sure that your speed test is fast enough um, and then make sure that the download speed is fast enough. If it is fast enough, the last thing that you can do is get out of here and go into your settings and let's go back out of here and then go into general and then iPhone storage. And then what we'll want to do is wait for this to load and then we'll find Snapchat on this list here. And then, oh, there it is. It keeps, so when it's load and it moves around, there's Snapchat. And what I'll want to do is just offload the app. So if you offload the Snapchat app, this kind of resets all the like internal files of the Snapchat app and make sure there's no bugs in the app. It doesn't delete or change anything related to your app. All it does is, is kind of like refresh the install of Snapchat. So you can see that it kind of removed it, but it's still there. And then I can tap on it to get it to load again and to install again. And this will make sure that I have kind of a fresh version of Snapchat so that uh, if there were any bugs or or things you know that were messing up Snapchat, those will all be wiped and a fresh install will be installed. So once that's done, um, just takes a second, and then we can open it up and go back into the map, and then everything should be working there. There we go. So then I'll tap on the map, and then it should be working, everything in the map should be working now that you've confirmed your internet connection and made sure that you kind of refreshed uh, the app and then also gave you know access, Snapchat access to your, to your location, either precise or general location. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.